everybody. On today's show, we are talking books, six of them. It's time to choose the next book we'll be discussing. And this month's theme? Romance. We'll all present a book choice and then we'll vote on them. It's time to choose a new book. So grab your cups. It's time for The Tea. Ladies, let's jump right in. Dina, tell us what you brought for this section. And let me start your timer. And you are ready to go. Well, my selection this month is The Summer House oh, by wow. Jenny Hale. And it's basically a story of two friends who save up their money to go do their dream business. They buy a house in a town that they would spend their summers out in the Outer Banks. And they want to do a bed and breakfast and have that lifestyle. And, you know, of course, as they settle into this new community, they, there's, a, there's a player, you know, it's a romance novel after all, Luke. And, and you know, they wanna, they wanna, one of them falls for him and, you know, wants to change him, finds, finds something deeper about him. But then there's, you know, mystery, intrigue. They find letters, secrets in the house. You know, this is just good chick lit summer read. It's cold outside. Let's, you know, take, a, take us away. Oh, to, to, okay. to something else. So in other words, a good, uh, what you call it, blizzard weather book? Yes. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Are there any questions, ladies? Yes, I have a question. So who is this book geared toward? What kind of woman would read this book? This is a book you read for fun. It's a page turner, chiclet. You know, you could see it as a lifetime movie, that type oh, of thing. Oh, okay. yes. <laughs> All right. You presented your book, Dina. So Nigeria, it's your time to tell us something. What do you recommend for this romance section? Oh, wait a minute, let me start your time now. Okay, so my book is not a traditional romance. Mm -hmm. The Wide Circumference of Love. It deals with romance in probably a perspective or a time that we don't really think about. We meet this couple in their older stages of oh, life. Okay. And they're very settled and very accomplished in their careers. The protagonist, Diane Tate, is a judge. Mm. But her husband is diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease and she puts him in a nursing home. Oh, wow. But while he's at the nursing home, mm. he falls in love. Again, wow. not with her. Uh oh. <laughs> so, this is a different type of romance. <laughs> <laughs> if you have Alzheimer's, you don't remember. So, how is he? Has he fallen in love with somebody for real, or is this the Alzheimer's working on? He does find interest in someone else who, I mean, you know, we don't think about, but they're spending a great deal of time now, mm -hmm. and he doesn't remember his wife in the capacity that wow. he's used to oh, wow. having her in. And so now she has to figure out what she's gonna do and what love looks like mm -hmm. for her. Wow. All right, it is my time. And I'm starting your minute right now. Okay, okay. Be, be My Forever Bride by Martha Kinnerson. It is set in Houston, Texas by a Houston oil tycoon. Believe it or not, he's African American. They have fallen in love, they eloped, then their secrets and revenge. That's what fills this love story. He has all this money, but she's trying to hide something, but they lose each other and then they come back. So that's what, y'all got to read this book. <laughs> because again, Houston oil tycoon, y'all know I'm from Houston, so I'm loving this. So my forever bride, that's what I'm recommending. Well, like, if he's an oil tycoon, why can't he pay to help cover her secret? That's the whole interesting piece about the romance. She's hiding it. Yeah. So she's hiding it from him, and she's trying to keep her sickness, her illness that just happened, and this secret from her past, because now everything's coming up. So you know, how, you know how it is when you're trying to hide something from somebody, and now everything from your past is coming up? That's, she that's probably why feels like she caught an oral tycoon, and she don't want to lose him. So and that's why the secret needs to keep buried. 
Sounds they buried. They buried. So then is this really romance? Like she married him for love or did she marry him for the oil? Sounds like you need to go read this book called It's Forever Bride. That's what it sounds like. You need to read the book to get that answer. Hi, I'm Karen St. Hilaire and I am the author of The Divine Butterfly, Inspiration for the Journey to Your Purpose. Would you like to be part of this conversation? I think you should join this channel. Click the link below, leave a comment, and now let's get back to the show. That's my recommendation. Janelle, what are you bringing to the table? Here's a timer, because I know I'll do well. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, just for that, so it's now. <laughs> my book is An American Marriage by Tiari Jones. So it's about a young, amazing, successful couple, but they are abruptly torn apart when the husband is thrown in jail for a crime his wife knows he didn't commit. Mm. But then, five years into the into his incarceration, she starts feeling a little flirty with one of his best friends. Mm. Friends mm. since preschool, the, mm. like young mm. childhood age, and he was the best man in their wedding. Oh. So it's a story about how to really stand by your man when he's going through the roughest time of his life. And then what do you do when love redefines itself in such heartache? So that is why I'm recommending this book because it's juicy, it has heartache, and I think it's just really relevant to our experience itself. Okay. And, and very fine, your time is up. Because, because uh, whatever, because it sounds like a Paxi Klein song, Stand By Your Man is what you're saying. Because if she knows he didn't do this, so why is she trying to mess with the best friend? I mean, at the same time, if true love emerges, woman has needs. <laughs> well, oh, 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 so you know, I didn't say that, but you said that. But yeah, they have conjugal visits. They're married. She can. Well, go they didn't say what kind of prison he was in. And maybe he did something and lost his privilege. Okay, on that note, since we're not sure about the privileges, you are recommending this book, ma'am? Yes, An American Marriage. All right, we, are, we got your recommendation. Alfie, it's on you. So, I am recommending Have You Met Nora by Nicole Blades. And this book is about a very successful woman who's really at the height of her life right now. She has a thriving fashion business. She's about to marry the love of her life who just happens to be super rich. Mm -hmm. And everything is going fine until the scandal comes out that her grandmother was actually a black woman who was assaulted by an employer of hers. Okay. Mm -hmm. So her husband and their family, and again, the high profile life that they live, they have no idea that she's biracial and that this is her background. And this is something that threatens the security and the marriage that she's about to embark on. And so to me, this book is about, again, really testing love. Like she's about mm -hmm. to walk down the aisle and all of this is coming out. And it's being revealed by a person that was close to her. So this person's mm -hmm. out to get her one. And really it's like, can this marriage stand the test mm -hmm. I don't even, and it, what I find interesting, it's not an issue between her and her husband to be. This is really society impeding mm -hmm. on them. Time. All righty. So, are there any questions I have about? A question. oh, mm -hmm. okay. So, I'm not sure if you mentioned, but what era is this mm -hmm. happening in? Good question. So, this is a modern book. However, we're talking about the upper crust of society who still has issues, and it's really about the scandalous past of the family. Wow, that's insane that this book, even though it's written recently, it is really digging into mm -hmm. how racism and mm -hmm. prejudice is still going on today in that someone's grandmother is black, and society is having a huge issue with it. So basically, are you saying that she was passing for white? So yes, right, right. Secret. So secret. yes. Okay, but yes. she, she was so still she was keeping, keeping the secret. secret. Yeah. That's what it is. So Have You Met Nora is really not just a question for the groom, but this becomes a question for her right. as well, mm -hmm. right? Yes, Have You Met Her? Do you, oh. you know, she know yourself? Herself? Do you know yeah. yourself? Wow, that sounds, that sounds interesting. Well, that's two romances, yeah. falling yeah. in love with yourself yeah. and... You are deep, my sister. Oh, I try. I, I am more than a pretty face. It comes naturally for her. It comes naturally. Whatever, whatever. All right. Hold it. I've got something to tell you. We want to create a space where we can become friends, where we can converse, where we can discuss, where we can share, where we can peel back the layer 
and get into who you are and who we are. Even if you haven't read the book, you can create a relationship with us. You can join the conversation. You can join the discussion because every book is about a theme. Every book is about what we deal with in real life. So you have got to join the conversation. We mean it when we say, let's keep it going and growing. So hurry up, click subscribe and drop a comment at the end. See ya. All right, so Afi, that is your book selection now, selection. Margarita. It is on you. Hold on, because you definitely need your time. Oh, wait a minute. All right, my book of choice for romance is Back to Life by Wendy Coakley Thompson. Okay, this is the 1989 era. Um, a gentleman named Yusuf Hawkins was killed. He was African-American by an Italian mob. He was killed. Now, right across the Hudson River, Lisa and Mark meet. Lisa's African-American. Mark is Italian-American. Guess what? They fall in love. Now, race doesn't matter, but their family has a big issue with it because of racism, et cetera. Religion, you name it. Um, it doesn't matter to them, but they conquer. So. That's what I'm selling for my book, and I think it's interesting. Okay, I love it. awesome. I love and it. you stayed under your time. Thank Woo. you. Woo. So you know what this sounds like to me? It sounds like West Side Story, but kind hmm. of, kind of, kind of a modern time West Side Story. Forbidden love. Funny you I say that. Spike Lee movie. I thought yeah. Spike Lee. Yeah, and Jungle Fever. Very. That's jungle what it reminds fever. me of. Very Jungle Fever. Okay. I was thinking. I'm sorry. I want a little further than y'all. I really <laughs> want to go Romeo and Juliet, but you know I didn't want to. It's that okay, but you, you from you Houston. Know, I, I, I can't you know, say. Forbidden Julie. love is forbidden love. Yeah. So that's really what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. So basically, are we going to be? We're looking for does the love conquer? In Absolutely. This book? All right. Well, ladies, you have made your presentations. It is time to vote. Are you ready to vote? Yeah. I don't Are know. Are you sure? It's yes. Hard. All right. All right. <laughs> and let's go. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> It's time to reveal. Are you ready, ladies? Yes, ready? I am. Dina! Have you met Nora? Ooh, all right. Nigeria. An American marriage. And I chose the wide circumference of love. Janelle? And I chose an American marriage. Wow. Afi? I chose the summer house. Wow. I chose, have you met Nora? Bam. All right, looks like we, we have, have a, tie. a tie. All right, so ladies, we have to we have to vote again. We are going to be voting for uh, um, an American marriage and have you met Nora? All right, let's go back and vote again. Don't be looking at me. I'm Don't be looking at me. You're showing your card. I can't help it. You just know. Survival. Whatever. So now you're ready to vote. Dina? Sorry, not sorry. I'm a broken record. Uh -oh. I met Nora. <laughs> Nigeria. Okay. Always trust your first instinct. An American marriage. And I chose American marriage as well. Of course, an American marriage. Afi? I am a peacemaker. American marriage. Uh oh. Margarita. Have you met Nora? That was my word and I was sticking to it. All right, looks like we have a winner, ladies, an American marriage. That's will be our next choice for romance. All right, woohoo! I won again. Two, you know. Go, girl. She got two months in a row. All right, okay, everybody, we have our next book. So read and watch along, and let's keep the conversation going right here on YouTube by commenting below as we spill the tea on an American, American marriage. marriage. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and let's keep the conversation going and growing. Remember, who's telling your story? The, the tea. tea.